Did you know that according to recent studies, emotional maturity is one of the strongest predictors of career success and personal fulfillment? Yet, it's a skill often overshadowed by academic achievements and technical expertise. In this series, we'll explore the 10 key dimensions of emotional maturity. From understanding and regulating your emotions to managing relationships and solving problems effectively, we'll provide you with practical tools and insights to elevate your emotional intelligence. Why does this matter? Because emotional maturity affects every aspect of your life, from how you cope with stress, to how you interact with others, and even how you feel about yourself. Imagine being able to stay calm in stressful situations, handle conflicts with grace, and build meaningful relationships with ease. That's the power of emotional maturity. So, are you ready to dive deep into your own emotional capabilities and discover how you can improve them? Join us as we explore practical strategies, backed by the latest research and real-world examples, to help you grow into a wiser, more emotionally intelligent you. Stay tuned, as each episode of this series is designed to help you build a stronger, more resilient, and emotionally intelligent self. Let's embark on this transformative journey together. Chapter 1. Understanding Emotional Maturity – What It Is and Why It Matters Emotional maturity isn't just about how you react to things, but also how you understand and handle your feelings. Think of it as being wise about emotions, both yours and others. Why does this matter? Because emotional maturity is key to maintaining healthy relationships, achieving personal goals, and enjoying a balanced life. Studies suggest that people who exhibit higher levels of emotional maturity are better at managing stress and are generally more satisfied with their lives. Imagine going through life like a skilled surfer who rides the big waves of their emotions without wiping out. That's emotional maturity. It's not about suppressing what you feel but managing your reactions in a thoughtful, responsible way. So, how can you tell if you're emotionally mature? It's not always about age or experience. It's more about your approach to life's ups and downs. Let's break it down. Emotionally mature individuals don't let anger or sadness completely take over. They think before they act. They can discuss feelings openly and are great listeners. And importantly, they know when to ask for help. Their secret? A solid understanding of themselves and an acceptance of their emotions as normal, not barriers. Chapter 2, Self-Awareness, The Cornerstone of Emotional Maturity Self-awareness is the first real step toward emotional maturity. It involves understanding your emotions, strengths, weaknesses, and drives. Psychologists highlight that self-aware individuals are better equipped to handle life's challenges and build stronger relationships. It starts with introspection. Take a moment and think about the last time you felt really angry or upset. What triggered it? How did you respond? Understanding these triggers and reactions helps you manage them better next time. It's like being your own emotional detective, picking up clues on why you feel what you do. A handy tip for boosting self-awareness is keeping a mood diary. This simple practice can reveal patterns in your emotional responses and help you understand your triggers. Another strategy is mindfulness meditation. Just a few minutes a day can improve your ability to monitor your inner state. No wonder mindfulness has exploded in popularity. It's a practical tool for anyone looking to enhance their self-awareness. Moreover, self-awareness allows you to set realistic goals. Knowing your limits and strengths means you can aim for achievements that are truly within your reach avoiding unnecessary frustration. Emotional maturity grows from this soil of self-knowledge, where you're not just aware of your emotional landscape but also actively cultivating it. Chapter 3, Emotion Regulation, Techniques to Manage Your Emotions. Managing emotions effectively is a pivotal skill in emotional maturity. It's not about hiding your feelings but understanding and regulating them to react appropriately. Emotion regulation is crucial for personal well-being and professional success. Research shows that people who excel at emotion regulation tend to have better relationships and higher overall happiness. One effective technique for regulating emotions is the practice of deep breathing exercises. When you feel overwhelmed, taking slow, deep breaths can help calm the nervous system and give you a moment to assess the situation more clearly. Another approach is cognitive reappraisal, which involves changing your perspective on a situation to alter its emotional impact. For instance, viewing a stressful event as a challenge rather than a threat can significantly reduce anxiety. It's also beneficial to develop a routine that includes regular exercise, adequate sleep, and healthy eating. These are not just good for your body. They have a profound impact on your emotional health, too. Studies indicate that people who maintain such routines have better emotional control and experience less mood swings. 
Chapter 4, Empathy. How understanding others can reflect your emotional maturity. Empathy is the ability to understand and share the feelings of others, and it's a core component of emotional maturity. When you can empathize, you're not just sympathizing, you're connecting. This connection can lead to stronger, more resilient relationships, both personally and professionally. To develop empathy, try to really listen when people talk. Focus on understanding their perspective, even if it's different from yours. This practice helps in appreciating the diversity of human experience and promotes a more compassionate approach to interactions. Additionally, reading widely, especially fiction, can enhance your empathy. Literature allows you to experience the world through the eyes of different characters, which can broaden your own emotional understanding. Furthermore, volunteering or helping others can also increase your capacity for empathy. Engaging in community service exposes you to the realities of other people's lives, helping you develop a deeper appreciation for their struggles and strengths. By enhancing your empathy, you not only improve your relationships but also contribute to a more understanding and less judgmental society. Empathy can transform encounters and conflicts by injecting a level of mutual respect and understanding. Chapter 5. Responsibility. Taking ownership of your actions and feelings. Responsibility and emotional maturity means acknowledging your role in your own emotions and the situations you find yourself in. It's about taking ownership of your actions and their consequences, not blaming others or external circumstances. This sense of responsibility is vital for personal growth and healthy relationships. Being responsible involves admitting mistakes and learning from them. It also means setting and respecting boundaries, yours and others. For instance, if you commit to something, follow through. And if you're overwhelmed, communicate that effectively instead of letting commitments slide. This demonstrates reliability and builds trust among peers and loved ones. Moreover, responsible individuals make proactive efforts to change negative behaviors and improve their emotional responses. They seek feedback and use it constructively to adapt and grow. It's a continuous process of self-evaluation and adjustment in pursuit of better outcomes and more harmonious interactions. Chapter 6. Communication Skills Effectively Expressing Yourself Good communication is a cornerstone of emotional maturity. It's not just about talking but also about how you convey your thoughts and feelings. Effective communicators are clear, honest, and considerate, making sure their message is understood and not hurtful. To improve your communication skills, start by being a good listener. Pay attention to what others are saying without planning your response while they speak. This shows respect and allows for more genuine engagement. When it's your turn to speak, express your thoughts clearly and directly. Avoid ambiguous language and be specific about your feelings and needs. Practicing assertive communication is also key. This means expressing your opinions and needs openly and respectfully, without being aggressive or passive. Assertiveness helps prevent misunderstandings and builds mutual respect in relationships. It's also important to tailor your communication style to your audience. What works with friends may not be appropriate in a professional setting. Improving your communication skills can lead to better interpersonal relationships and a more fulfilling life. People tend to respond positively to those who can express themselves clearly and respectfully, enhancing social and professional interactions. Chapter 7. Flexibility. Adapting to change and managing stress. Flexibility in emotional maturity means being able to adjust your thoughts, feelings, and behaviors to changing situations without excessive stress. This adaptability is essential for coping with life's inevitable changes and challenges. People who are flexible tend to experience less anxiety and depression, as they are better equipped to handle uncertainty and adjust to new circumstances. To cultivate flexibility, start by embracing the concept of change as an opportunity. Instead of fearing change, see it as a chance to learn and grow. Practicing mindfulness can also enhance your flexibility. Mindfulness encourages you to accept the present moment without judgment, helping you adapt to changes more gracefully. Another way to build flexibility is to challenge your routine. Try new things, whether it's a different route to work, a new hobby, or meeting new people. These experiences can help you become more adaptable and less resistant to change. Remember, the more you push yourself out of your comfort zone, the more resilient you become. Chapter 8. Relationship Management building healthy interpersonal connections. Managing relationships effectively is a crucial aspect of emotional maturity. This involves not just maintaining healthy relationships but also knowing how to repair them when they falter. Relationship management skills can lead to deeper connections and a more rewarding social life. 
Key strategies include clear communication, empathy, and respect for others' boundaries. It's also important to recognize the value of giving and receiving feedback constructively. Healthy relationships are built on a foundation of trust and mutual respect, where all parties feel valued and understood. To improve your relationship management, focus on conflict resolution skills. Learn to address conflicts directly and respectfully, seeking solutions that satisfy all parties involved. Avoiding conflict might seem easier in the short term, but it often leads to bigger problems down the line. Additionally, make time to nurture your relationships. This could be regular check-ins with friends or family, collaborative activities with colleagues, or quality time with your partner. Remember, strong relationships don't just happen, they require effort and care to thrive. Chapter 9. Problem Solving. Using Emotional Intelligence in Challenges. Effective problem solving is greatly enhanced by emotional maturity. When faced with a problem, emotionally mature individuals use both logical and emotional information to arrive at the best solution. They don't let stress cloud their judgment but instead approach issues with calm and focus. To be a proficient problem solver, begin by clearly defining the problem. What exactly is the issue? Avoiding assumptions and getting to the heart of the matter is crucial. Next, generate a range of possible solutions. This is where creativity comes into play. Don't just settle on the first idea that comes to mind, explore various avenues. Once you have a list of potential solutions, evaluate them thoughtfully. Consider the pros and cons of each option and how they align with your values and goals. Decision-making isn't just about finding a quick fix but selecting the option that best addresses the core issue and will be sustainable over time. It's also beneficial to reflect on past problem-solving successes and failures. What can you learn from those experiences? Applying these lessons can improve your approach to new challenges, making you not only a better problem solver but also a more confident leader. Chapter 10. Self-Reflection. Evaluating your growth and areas for improvement. Self-reflection is a powerful tool for personal development and a key aspect of emotional maturity. It involves taking time to consider your thoughts, actions, and feelings to understand your motivations and improve your future behavior. To engage in effective self-reflection, set aside regular time to be alone with your thoughts. This could be through journaling, meditation, or simply sitting quietly at the end of the day. Ask yourself questions like, what did I do well today? And, what could I have done differently? Be honest and objective with your answers. Self-reflection is about growth, not self-judgment. Another aspect of self-reflection is seeking feedback from others. Sometimes, an outside perspective can provide insights that you might overlook. Listen openly to what others have to say about your behavior and consider their views thoughtfully. Remember, the goal of self-reflection is not to dwell on the past but to use it as a stepping stone for future improvement. By regularly assessing your actions and attitudes, you can make more informed decisions, improve your relationships, and better align your daily practices with your overall life goals.